by law, there can only be 1% of the Army can be a sergeant major. So out of the active component of 485,000, by law, there can only be 4,000. And out of those 4,000, there can only be one sergeant major of the Army. The senior enlisted, out of 1% of the Army, there's only one of those that actually gets selected to be the sergeant major of the Army. And that's what it means when we're saying you get to be the honorary sergeant major of the Army is not only your like 1% of 1%. Um, that's what it means that you're going to represent and your lifelong dedication to your soldiers. Well, we've helped some 413,000 guest families uh, stay in a comfort home, 92 at present. Fisher House has become comfort homes uh, for families to stay in. Uh, and the fact that they're within walking distance and there's no charge uh, has become so vital to these families because they're going through a very, very stressful time. And this was one burden they didn't need to carry. We want to be able to build one wherever it's necessary, wherever they're needed. Uh, we don't ever, ever want a family who's going through what Dana went through or uh, some of our wounded families or veterans ever to have to worry about where they're going to stay and how they're going to afford it. We ease the burden on military families and veteran families because they carry the burdens as well. I wrote 13 type pages to my daughters before I deployed. It's what we do as soldiers. You don't know you're going to come back, especially on your first, one of those first deployments. It was tough. It was hard. For those veterans in the room, you know what I'm talking about. You're like, man, I don't know if today's my day. And that story of you giving to the Fisher House and when we met in the Pentagon uh, really touched me. And I said, we have to dominate Denzel Washington. So your dedication to your family and Mr. Washington, you by accepting this honor, you get to be part of the club that says 1% of 1%. And I couldn't be more proud to say that you are now going to be a part of our team and you'll be forever remembered as the Honorary Sergeant Major of the Army. So thank you. Away, Dana. I'm, gonna <laughs> I'm gonna say something too. You go first. You, you go ahead, Dana. Come on. Um, it's an honor to <clears throat> to be here, and um, Denzel <laughs> always teases me that he says you thought I wasn't gonna do this. I did not think that. He's an honorable, good man. But Denzel, your heart, <laughs> your talent. <clears throat> Your kindness to me, to Jordan, what you do on behalf of our military families has touched me deeply and I'll never forget it. Thank you for being you. I know this family's proud of you, but I know your family is proud of you. And I'm proud of you as your friend, and I'm so grateful. Thank you. To, today, thank you. <laughs> today is the first day of the rest of my life. Thank you. I'm a soldier now. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Prop man had uh, made a set of dog tags. You gave them to me. I think you gave them to me, Ranger. I believe the prop man gave them to me. And I put them on, and I tap them all day long, and I talk to you. And I, I, we're both getting ready to go. <laughs> and I ask him, you know, well, what, am, am I doing the right thing? So he's telling me, as you are telling me, as he's told me over and over and over again, these last uh, few years that I'm doing the right thing and I'll continue to do the right thing for the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines. I'm here for you. Call me when you need me. We all are free because of the sacrifices that you made. God bless you all. God bless America. And thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I just pray that uh, I continue to do God's work as we all are doing. I say thank you again to the uh, armed services, to all the men and women that have sacrificed their lives for our freedom. And uh, that's, 
and thank you.